Budget laptops often aren't as interesting, but the Lenovo IdeaPad 1 has something to say about it. Its simplicity and high variety of hardware combinations are nothing to scoff at, while the affordable price tag makes it one of the few budget laptops that can get powerful. The device is entirely made from plastic but feels good to the touch. Lenovo has done some strengthening to the chassis, as it shows some resistance, before eventually twisting when we apply more force. The surface is soft to the touch but shows a lot of fingerprints. The laptop is quite portable, despite the 15.6-inch screen, weighing 1.55 kilograms, and having a profile of 17.9 millimeters. The lid can't be opened with one hand, as the hinges take the base along for the ride. From here, we can see the base, with the power button, touchpad, and keyboard. The keys are comfortable for typing, with decent key travel and clicky feedback. One thing we have to mention is the deck flex in the middle, which can be felt when you type more harshly. The touchpad is great. It covers a decent area, has a smooth mylar surface, and shows next to no latency. The input-output is placed on the sides. On the left, we get a barrel-style power plug, one full-sized 5 gigabit USB port, HDMI 1.4B, one 5 gigabit USB Type-C, and a 3.5 mm audio jack. On the right, there's a USB 2.0 port and an SD card reader. The display selection includes both TN and IPS displays, however, we can't recommend the former, as the poor viewing angles and low brightness don't equate to a good experience. We would go for an IPS option, which should honestly be in the base configuration, but we know that Lenovo has to cut corners here and there. The panel covers only 54% of the sRGB color gamut, which isn't enough, but our design and gaming profile improves the accuracy by a lot, lowering the delta E value from 7.2 to 2.3. You can check out the design and gaming profile, along with our other ones in the description below. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. The IdeaPad 1 uses a 42 watt hours battery, which is fine when paired with the Pentium Silver N6000. It lasts for 9 hours and 23 minutes of web browsing, or 8 hours and 51 minutes of video playback. The Pentium CPU is doing great for basic laptop work, text editing, and browsing the web, with its quad-core setup. However, anything more demanding and you will run into issues. If you need more power, there's the Alder Lake U-Series as well as the Ryzen 5000 U-Series, which bring the kick but will drain more battery. The laptop uses a passive cooling solution, with one heat pipe that goes from the CPU to a large metal plate. The CPU is covered by a heat spreader. It's an appropriate solution for the Pentium CPU, as the chip doesn't really like to clock high and increase its wattage beyond 15 watts. As for comfort, the laptop is dead silent, as there are no moving parts. The base doesn't get warm either, maxing out at 37.6 degrees Celsius. The IdeaPad 1 comes with one SODIMM slot for DDR4 memory. Some units also come with additional 4GB of soldered RAM of the same type. For storage, there's a single M.2 PCIe X4 slot for Generation 3 SSDs. To take apart the laptop, we'll refer you to our teardown video, which shows a step-by-step -step process. You can check it out in the description. The Lenovo IdeaPad 1 is a notebook for people who just need a device to get by and don't do demanding work. With the low-powered chips, you'll also enjoy good battery life, silence, and comfort, thanks to the passive cooling solution. For more info about the device, we have a longer and more detailed review on our website.